right? Hmm? We have just two stuff. Shane, Patty, and here we have James. All these four, plus the most high, they know the truth as to what is really going on. Oh my gosh, so Tati just dropped your video, right? I have been anxiously awaiting this. So I sit in here, steaming my hair. So I'm like, I get the notification. I had to cut off the steamer and come make a video because we need to hear what Tati is about to say about Shane Lawson, James Charles, Jeffree Star. Let's go and see what Tati have to say about all these individuals. So we're here finish. Yeah, looking good and healthy. Note to self. Flat iron and me is not friend. Watch how this turn out. You're surely seeing where the flat iron is and you're surely watch watch it. Anyway, so let's get into this video about this whole beauty world drama drama. So initially, I was going to do a reaction video, but then I'm like, there is just enough reaction videos out there, and why bore the people with another reaction video? And please do not make this video too long to even bore them even more, so we not. Alright, so I'm just going to give my thoughts on this whole drama. I am not a beauty person, I am not into makeup like to say I am cake in my face day every day morning or night actually i have never put on a full blown makeup because right now all i have on is some vitamin e on my lip and i put on some eyelashes yesterday and that's it for makeup <coughs> i don't do makeup the most i would really do is some eyeliner and a little lip gloss and some eyelashes that's once in a blue moon so but i love to watch these youtubers i really love to watch these type of videos i am subscribed to a lot of these people in the beauty industry channel so i think i am invested in a great way in this whole drama that is so ridiculous at this point because after tati dropped her video last year james charles and everybody else say what they had to say about her video and then we in 2020 and here we go once again and all this drama so when all of this started back up again i am one of those like all of you was anxiously awaiting tati's reaction oh i can't get over how ridiculous this press out look at it's it a it even press out all right all right i know what you're saying we didn't come here to hear about your hair that didn't press properly all right <laughs> so my view on this whole matter is the only person who truly know what went down in that whole shebang of a situation is Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, Charles, and Tati. Nobody else. These four individuals, they truly know was the real scene yes these four people these four people are the four people who truly know what went down right so when tati brought out her video against james charles jeffrey star said what he had to say shane dawson said what he had to say and then now in 2020 and another whole drama with a lot of allegations a lot of apologies i appreciate the fact that tati was grown enough to come on and say she was wrong and some people also was having an issue with the fact that she was saying that she's not taking ownership listen to me and she's blaming everybody when you see you in a toxic toxic relationship friendship whatever type of ship you want to put that ship the point is when you're in a toxic space with toxic people you tend to like forget and think for yourself in certain situations situations trust me i've been there 
so I know exactly where she is coming from. So those of you that are saying she is blaming people and not taking ownership, she is taking ownership, but she's letting you know the process of how she get to where she she were when she made that video. So I totally understand where she was coming from when she said what she said. So let's not too quick to just, you know, what I think she shouldn't have done was let the world know what her plans was whether she's still in her rights the statues of limitation isn't up yet so she's still out that's what she said she said she could do it um but even though it was it is a thought i think she shouldn't have mentioned i was also watching another youtuber who mentioned that like even if nicocado avocado mentioned that because he was saying then why mention it so you, you're letting these people know exactly what you're about to do so why would your lawyer you know tell you it's okay if you had to go to a lawyer to prepare a statement before coming here then why why mention it because you're giving them a upper hand to come back at you so i think that is where she went wrong if it is she's really taking those actions she shouldn't have made that comment but the allegations that was made against Shane Dawson, mainly in her video, all the things that he had done to her, I am shook. Not, I mean, it's not a surprise that everything else that was being said about Shane Dawson, but wow. And to know she was involved in this friendship with these individuals for so long, for so long. And it's only when you remove yourself from a certain environment and you're taking a look at that space that you was in, you realize, hey, I was really bamboozled by these individuals. They had me like a puppet on a string. So I, I understand where she's coming from with that. And it, that is a real thing. And that's not joking. That is so, so real. You could be in a very toxic environment and it's really bad. Everybody else around you know I'm seeing it. They're telling you about it. But you can't see it. And I'm glad that she's out of that. I do hope <coughs> this situation allows her to mend those broken fences between her and James Charles. Because I think they really need if they haven't already done so i think they really need to have a little powwow and work out that i mean it will take time to rebuild that if they will ever get back to that place but i think they should really work and fix that situation <coughs> excuse the coffin like with the sahara dust lately i've been having this constant cough and so please forgive the little coffin in between so yes let's get back to the story now as for the allegations against james charles when tati brought out her video you know if he was a different individual he could have taken out the court let's say those as i said the only persons personal persons that really know what happened if it happened when it happened how it happened is the individuals that it happened to and 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 almighty god those are the person and per or persons that know what is going on and what is the truth and what is the truth so i do hope that at the end of this situation they work on on what is going on between tati and james i hope they really work out their relationship and are those other two individuals as Tati said in her video, this video is not about to tell her viewers or those in the beauty community, cancel J Jeffrey, cancel Shane. I don't, that was not her message. She made it quite clear in the beginning of her video. That is not my message. Stop all the cancel, canceling this one, canceling that one and help them to be better people. Do I know if Jeffrey is a racist? I could only go from what has been out there, blatantly out there. So I would say to some extent, 
he is you understand so um and another thing that really touched me there is this youtuber this is her name right here this is a channel check her out i watch her religiously she's uh always doing reaction videos and that is how i found her i was watching a reaction video and she has done a lot of lives lately so you can go and check her out but she was talking about how much she loved Jeffrey and she was brought to tears she said like you know when she saw this this video that Tati made when she saw it and then all the other things with, with Shane all the videos from his early days in video oh and when her last video recently her last live because I'm always in her life I don't know if she noticed but I'm always in her life and her last live when she was showing um Shane Dawson talking to this um Negro girl and he was telling her um talking about how she's she's black so you know that kind of thing and the typing is you and uh, when she showed that clip I was like what I after I watched her live that day I went immediately and unsubscribed from Shane's YouTube channel well I did again as she also said she didn't even know he had so much of channels on YouTube I didn't even know he had so much of channels on YouTube I only know about that one and when she showed her talking about this girl in his video and talking about teaching her to helping her to open her YouTube channel and that kind of thing and talking about how black people just like to slam the girl I was like I was like no 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 so while her life was going on and I was watching it I took up my iPad and I was like unsubscribe goodbye I was like what and then I was like I don't know like I am always missing the videos with these individuals when there is a great great racial slurs that is thrown out there or implications of racial stuff thrown out there for some reason like I just miss those videos when they post so I was like in Tati video talking about another youtuber that uh, Jeffrey truly insulted I was like wow but honestly I am not going to lie that did not make me go and unsubscribe I'm not gonna lie when he was talking about Jackie she was talking about the situation with Jackie and, and, and Jeffrey. It didn't make me go and unsubscribe. Because afterwards, I went back and watched some stuff. I was like, oh my goodness. Yes, eventually I went and unsubscribed from Jeffrey's channel. And then, so I had originally unsubscribed from James' channel when Tati dropped her video last year. And then as more stuff started to come out, I realized that this guy wasn't who they portrayed him to be. I did go back and subscribe to his channel and start back following him again and watching his stuff. And I give Tati thumbs up for being strong. And it is just so, so sad to know how much she had to move. She had to do so much to protect herself. And to the fact where this is stressing her so much, so much, her own fertility situation had to be put back. Im could you imagine you're so mentally and emotionally unstable that you can't even start your family, do what you and your husband planned to do? Like, you could imagine how stressful this woman was, what she was going through, with the torment she was going through because of a very toxic so-called friendship, because I said friends. And as she real, she said in her video also, it was clear jealousy. These individuals was clearly jealous of James' video. It was just clear jealousy. Nothing else but jealousy. And she is so correct. They were truly afraid of how far this young man is going to go because they realize his potential. And he is doing marvelous. And he will continue to do marvelous. These individuals are millionaires they are doing their things this whole blow up might not even affect them but the fact that certain brands pulling shane from their stores from their website 
for some reason I'm not hearing anything about Jeffrey. Maybe because he isn't so much involved in a scandalous way in Tati's video, like how Shane is in um Tati's video, so I guess and all the other videos that have been coming out for the past few weeks against Mr. Dawson. But children stuff. When I saw when I heard that recording of him talking about pedophilia and making it okay as to what he justifying justifying it I'm like what uh, did I hear right no mm -mm. Mm -mm. but you know what still I didn't want to unsubscribe from it to him it's only when I watched that's the same youtuber that I just mentioned and he, he was talking about the african-american girl where he was trying to open up a youtube thing and just the way he was carrying on and what he said just irked me as a man i was like mm, bye so and it actually brought that girl to tears to know that she was such a supporter of these individuals a real supporter you know if she cry you know if she real cry you know and she was talking about how much she loved them and she used to justify she, that's what she said she said imagine i used to i used to justify this racial thing and as to this racial thing that people is blaming jeffrey for and and she's like how bad she's feeling about that situation i totally understand what she's saying oh my gosh i totally understand what she's saying so as i said the only person who truly know what really went down what this whole drama was about is the individuals themselves and the most high so we have mighty god right mm -hmm. we have jess Brister, shane tati and here we have james all these four plus the most high they know the truth as to what is really going on whether we're getting a little bit from tati so a little bit from mr dawson no well actually nothing from mr star and we haven't really heard anything from um that next individual himself either we haven't really heard anything from him he was kind of quiet in this whole thing and i think that's the best thing so let's see let's see how it works out and please stop with all the drama stop with all the unnecessary stuff and go back and do some smoky eyes and, and, and some beautiful stained lips and create some of these beautiful palettes that you're putting out enough with the drama leave drama alone and go back to doing what you guys do best why people start following you while you all have millions of supporters on YouTube okay enough with the drama stop with all it and and if Jeffrey really have all those so-called evidence and, and as Tati said in her video all these things that he holding against other people to have them like a puppet to do what he want them to do basically because he's holding things on them because they know that he have things on them so they're afraid to do and say and you know so they will just tread lightly with him if that is true I pray to God that Jeffrey changes and he don't be on them kind of thing no more and go back to doing what you do best makeup go in front of your mirror that beautiful mirror and do some smoky eye okay do some makeup do what you do best that hair and please I just said I unfollow them yes but I'm see I'm just simply saying enough of the drama and it takes you nowhere but down 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 so go back to what you all love doing and what you all get famous on youtube for really doing makeup beauty making people look pretty come on stop this nonsense if you all don't want to associate with each other no more fine don't associate with each other anymore but stop trying to hurt each other the world is big enough for all of everybody to shine all of you would shine so 
why stress why make drama why afraid of competition a competition is the best thing competition is the best thing for a brand because it, it just shows how powerful and good your product is so competition is always a good thing it's never a bad thing don't fight competition don't hate competition it only makes you the individual better at what you put in order for your for the public to purchase yeah all right ladies and gentlemen i hope you all understood my point and how I feel and uh, my take on the whole situation. So I would like to hear what your thoughts are on what my thoughts were. Thanks for watching another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat.